I'm Dina and I'm from Lemon and the Birds. Many of you don't know me because I'm just the one filming Greeny. A lot of you know him. So, and he's here just because he's eating the millet. Anyways, and so today is an introduction for you on all the birds, pretty much every piece of information I know about them. And so you can share all the information I know and you can follow us on this journey, I guess. Am I right, Greeny? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So we're gonna start with Greeny because a lot of you guys know Greeny from a lot of his what are you doing videos, but not many know that he was actually a bird that was returned to the bird store, which was quite sad, frankly. Um, and he was returned because he was too bitey. Um, and so then he stayed six months in the bird store before the previous owner adopted him. And so he taught him basically everything that he says today. And so I never actually taught him, but I just adopted him as a rehomed bird from him as the previous owner could no longer take care of Greeny and the four other birds, three other birds actually I'll show you. Um, and that's for personal reasons. So this is Greeny. So he can say phrases like, what are you doing? Give me a kiss. I love you. And he makes kissy sounds. It's okay. Step up. And he says, are you a good boy? In a little whisper, which is also very cute. Um, Peekaboo. It's okay. I think I already said that one. But a lot more phrases. <laughs> um, and it's really cute. Um, so that's why he's, I guess, the most famous, I guess, on our channel. So he's quite popular for his talking and he's went viral a lot of times. So maybe that's why some of you watch us. Um, and yeah, he loves millet and he's smart because he knows how to open containers. Let me show you. This is a really popular brand in New Zealand. It's just a Systema container and it's like tight locked. So this has his little treats. Just watch. I, I, I don't even know how he learned this, but we came one day and we, I saw him like he was eating from the container and I'm pretty sure I was, I closed it, but just, just wait. Okay, you can open the container. I'm sure you know how to. There we go. Watch that. <gasps> okay. Here we go. So that is a speciality of greenies. Opening containers without permission. And so he just has a great time. Yeah. Here is Snowy. A lot of you may have heard about Snowy. He, it's been a year exactly since we've had him. Not exactly, but you know what I mean. And so Snowy is a ring neck. A lot of you have never knew that um, since he is not like the typical ring neck, like Greeny. See, he has a different mutation. He hasn't got his ring yet and he just looks super adorable. Look at that, little snowball. We were gonna call him that one time. Anyways, um, and so Snowy basically is only one and so he speaks a lot of the time he's learned basically all the words that Greeny has learned plus a few more that I taught him but he's camera shy so Snowy started speaking about three to four months ago so when he was like about six months it's because we have Greeny which has really taught him how to speak words and of course lots of repetition and treats are all needed to get Snowy to talk and it's best to teach everyone to speak when they're young not really when they're much older I don't I've heard a lot of people maybe have tried to teach their ringnecks at a much older age, but I don't think it works. <laughs> I'm back. Um, and so Snowy is still learning and hopefully he will slowly get into talking. Um, and it just really depends on his confidence to speak and whatnot. But yeah, that's a lot more on Snowy. And we'll of course see him a lot more in the future. But right now he's just like the background guy, just watching Greeny and learning from him. So we'll see a lot more of him soon. So Lemon is a Lucino cockatiel. He's special in his own way, you could say. 
And we can see that as a comparison between Lemon and Blanco. Both males, just a different age, but very different thinking. Anyways, and so Lemon loves Millet. He knew, like, um, was it tap training? Something? I'm not sure that's what it's called. But it's like when you tap little, with a little stick the surface, like this thing, he would like, no yeah, there you go. But I mean, this is really a millet stick, so of course he would do that. Um, but you get what I mean. You get what I mean. And so that's Lemon. Lemon. But he doesn't like to peer much on camera. He's too busy with his very shy girlfriend. Look at that, she runs away from me. It's okay. It's normal bird things, as we say. Look at that, he's like, aw, can I have some more? You want some more? Aw, there you go. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next bird. So, this is Cosmo. She is the other bird that came with Greeny and his little flock of four birds. So as you can see, Cosmo, she is, let's just say she's not really friendly with people. She doesn't bite, but she just doesn't like people. She always never has, and just being like that. Okay, we got her back in shop. So, basically, Cosmo, she is four years old. I'm pretty sure, okay? Remember, these birds have all been rehomed. And so, don't get me wrong, like I know they're hatch dates, but the year they were born in is a funny story for me. Anyways, so that's what I have on Cosmo, and now we're gonna move on to the next two birds. So these are my two budgies. So we have Limey over here, and we have him, it's a little male budgie rigger, and we have Max, who is our female budgie, and so together they're a cute couple, as you can tell by the video footage here. Um, and so Max is another rehomed bird that we adopted from family friends who had to rehome their budgie because their friend died. I'm not sure if it was a female or a male, and so we decided to adopt Max because Lime also had no friends at the time because we had six birds and there was no budgies in the flock other than Lime. So yeah, we decided to adopt Max. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next bird. Blanco is our big male alpha in this flock, but Greeny is technically, we're not gonna say that though. But anyways, and so Blanco here, is known for singing if you're happy and you know it he sings um adam's family theme song he plays peekaboo and he does occasionally say pretty blanco pretty bird and what are you doing so he whistles it again i guess some people say oh that's not really talking but for me it is because he does say the words so and he tries to whistle it out and so I count that as talking. And so, yeah, he's known to be a popular one. So now we're going to move on to our next bird, which is Mango. This is Mango. Oh, we have to move where she's moving. Okay, sorry guys. Um, so this is Mango. A lot of you asked me what's going on with her. So basically, Mango, we got her earlier this year um, because she was a lost bird, no one claimed up to her. And so my friend was like, you know, take her because no one's been taking her. And we actually were planning to try and find the bird owner behind Mango, you know, because she's not, she's someone's pet, you know, you can't just have a flying love bird who's hand tamed and just not someone's bird. So we got her, no one came after her, so she basically um, was really friendly and we were like, oh my god, how can we not, like, how can you keep this bird? Like, how can she get lost? She like snuggled in my hoodie and she really just loved being like attached to you until she started nesting. So 
Once she started to nest, basically by breaking things like these toys and putting them in her feathers, that's when she turned really different. I'm not sure. I'm not a vet, so this is what's just happened. So you can see she's like putting stuff in her feathers. And then, so she's gonna take that and, the, and put that stuff on the bottom of her cage and try and build herself a nest. So, because of that, she has not become any hand tame. Look, oh wait, it's really scary. And so, she still comes on your shoulder and does make now greeny sounds. She squeaks like greeny, it's really funny sometimes. You can hear it. And she's really nippy now. She's really scary. I do not want to disturb her busy trying to nest, but she's become really bitey. So for me, I can't really try and film her because she would just jump at the camera. Really scary bird now. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to have to decide her future because she has no friends in this flock. Everyone's really afraid of her. Greeny just hates her. And... If I get her a male, I'm not sure if she's going to attack the male and kill it or something because she's really aggressive now. Or I might just have to rehome her to some breeder because maybe that's what she's now best for because that's honestly what she's been doing for the past eight months now, nine months, trying to nest. So she hasn't, she hasn't got out of the cycle. I removed all toys that she could make into bird things and even the ladder, like this wooden ladder I made her, it was not made out of like easy soft material. She destroyed it completely and it's all little bits of sheds of wood there and I didn't understand where that wood was coming from until I realized that the ladder was disintegrating. So she has been quite, I don't know, could say really wanting to breed. She really wants her babies. And unfortunately, I don't have a male lovebird and I don't have the capacity to bring another bird into my flock as nine birds is a lot to manage. <laughs> and, and especially for just every reason with it might affect the flock. Again, I don't know because everyone's just, for example, really afraid of her or that. Oh, that's screaming on my head. Or that she just, I don't know. Like, I'm still not sure what's going to happen to her. Um, so that's why she hasn't been appearing on camera much because she's trying to be, she's like trying to stay in her cage and not leave the cage. And so I'm not sure how that's going to go. But that's basically the whole story behind Mango. She was a really sweet bird, but now she's just gone feral. And so I'm not sure how things are going to turn out. No, don't worry. But she still, as I said, comes on your shoulders and whatever. And she flies to me as soon as I open, like, um, and come into the bedroom, you know? That's so a lot on Mango. I'm not sure what's going to happen. a lot of people were asking about Keep her. Keep myself. So we're we'll trying to get the message across here. To the final bird. This is Pearl. And so she is, guess her age, 18 years old. Well, that's a really big number. How do you know that? Uh, because, well, can't, this is an estimation age. But previous owner, as I said, Greeny, Blanco, and Cosmo all came together as a flock. And so she was actually a rescue bird that um, the previous owner adopted. And so when he adopted her, um, he went to the vet and asked them like approximately how old is she and they estimated that she was 16 years old at the time um now she's 18 because things time has passed i guess so she's a quite old girl and that's basically pearl from me and so she just chills she loves to snooze but she's not much of a fan of being filmed because she hates the camera, so I'm keeping my distance from her. But, um, actually not that big of a distance, don't worry. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much Pearl. Just like chills in the background, thinks she's the best. And yeah. Hopefully I did answer all of your questions, because I know some of the questions were answered throughout the video of the introduction of the birds. Um, and if I still didn't answer your question, 
I'm not a pet, remember? Um, but you can message me through Instagram or on our TikTok, which is a new TikTok account we made. I'd love you to follow. Um, and, or just comment under this video and I'll try and respond unless it's a really long, big topic. Maybe I'll make a YouTube video on it. We'll see how this video goes. So we'll say goodbye now. Am I right? Yeah. He just likes to do this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little bird head, you could say. Yeah. So goodbye. Say bye. Bye. bye.